a fresher in the hostel. I was so excited. Then suddenly I wanted to go. And I was like, Rumi, where is the restroom? Then, surprisingly, she came up with this. She said, this is a shiting pole. Use it for pulling. Use it for peeing. You should get one. I was like, girl, ah, it's dripping. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Listen. In this segment, The Nigerian Way, we're going to be talking about the life of a fresher in Federal University of Nigeria. And I am going to be using my own experience in Unical. If you're just viewing us for the first time, please keep watching, stay tuned, and please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Unical stands for University of Calabar and is located in West Africa, Nigeria, Calabar, Cross River State, Calabar at Etabo Road. It was established in the year 1975 and the current vice chancellor is called Professor Zana Apago. So when you finally gain admission into your desired field or your desired course, you'll be very excited. Especially if you are this kind of person that has sat down at home for about 2-3 years. Man, you'll be super excited. you obviously leave home, tell your parents goodbye. Yeah, oh, I've gotten admission. <laughs> all this excitement and when you come the first thing you're gonna see is you know the school bees get i mean like the pursuit i mean the time you came for pursuit i mean wasn't enough for you to see the entire school so you'll be excited you see the pavilions you see the hall you see the school library then you get down to the hostels As a fresher in the University of Calabar, there are about five basic things you need to know. Yeah, number one is your association with people. At that moment when you get into the hostel, I'm very sure you'll be very excited. You know, I'm in school now, campus life, but your association with people really counts. It counts a lot. I would advise that while there, don't be all this kind of open-minded like how do i say too kind too kind anybody comes to ask you for something you give you are too open too kind no try to have this kind of privacy in you you know as someone coming try to have this kind of privacy study your environment study the people around you give yourself like one or two weeks i'm not saying you should be rude to people no be kind to people greet people respect people yeah but try to use about two or even a month to study the people around you check out those people that have good home training check out those people that you know are well brought up choose your friends do not let your friends choose you so the people see people that if you meet around with this person what am i going to get from the person what would i gain from this person so number one your association with people really number number two on my list for the five things a fresher needs to know number two is personal hygiene my dear if you know you are coming over to school as a unical fresher one you have to come with your mosquito nets my dear make sure you come prepared with your mosquito net two you have to come with disinfectants things like your dito like your hypo because all those things are really necessary i'm not saying that the hostel is very very dirty uh, it's not so good and uh, it's not so bad you can see in the intro to my video when i was holding something called a shiting pole yeah where I stayed in Hall 8, we use those kind of things. And you need to get yourself prepared with disinfectants like Dito in order to help you fight against all this manner of things like infection. You also need to know how to arrange yourself. For one, you maybe washing up your clothes. Now, in the hostel, it's not like your personal home where you can wash your clothes and spread your clothes anyhow you like or anytime. Like me, when I got to the hostel, I discovered that, yeah, I have to fi fix about maybe um saturdays and sundays those are the days that i should use in washing my clothes i'm this kind of person that i always like washing my clothes once i take them off i wash my clothes but getting there i discovered that i have to have like a particular time that i wash my clothes why why do you do that so that you would be able to check your things if you just wash your clothes and maybe display them it's a public place anybody it's anybody can steal it and that's how your belongings are going to be you know going away going to be missing and you also have to you know organize yourself in the aspect of cooking like the way i do mine you're always going to be stressed during the week 
lectures, registrations, this and that, and the aspect of cooking. You can organize yourself, like pick a day, like on Saturdays, you go out to the market, you get your things, maybe your tomatoes for your stew, or get your ingredients that you use in cooking your soup. You get it? So that on Saturday, you cook your soup, you cook your stew, which are going to use to be feeding on throughout the week. Then till next week Saturday, you can do another stew, you know, prepare another soup again. That is actually better. If you don't do like that, you're going to be depending on mostly snacks and drunk food, which it's not really healthy for you. You have to eat healthy food. If not, if you just fall sick before you know you are gone, you understand? So you have to eat healthy food when you want to, you know, like arrange your clothes, all these kind of things like what you wear on Monday, what you wear on Fridays. Most times in my room, I'll make sure that I iron my clothes on Saturdays and Sunday. After I wash my clothes on a Saturday or on a Sunday, watch them dry, I pick them and I iron them. I iron the clothes that I'm going to wear on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, till on Friday. Doing that is actually good in personal arrangements because on Monday morning, instead of you to come out and start searching for what to wear or searching for what to iron before Nepa takes its light, you've already arranged yourself. So that Monday, you already know what to wear. Tuesday, you know what to wear and then that's just how it goes. So your personal arrangements matters a lot. Number three on my list is you having a study time, you have to have a, a time for you to study, a time for you to read. You don't just go get lectures every day, every day, every day, and then you do not create time to study. My dear, ugh, it's not going to end up well. You need to have this. If you are this kind of person that likes reading in the night, night classes, you can go for night classes, but please do not go alone. I used to go alone then, and it was very, very, very creepy. Terrible things used to happen. Like god you can be walking alone in the night and then this kind these guys will just come no me phone no me phone and you know still your phone or still any valuable f thing that you are holding so whenever you are going for night class try to go as a group with maybe people in your department go there read in the night or if night class is too risky for you you can decide to go for evening classes Go for evening classes come back to your hostel night you can even read in your hostel if you choose in the hostels we have reading halls where you can go up there read although it used to be very crowded but girls to go there boys to go there to read you get it so have a reading a, a time for reading be consistent try even if you are reading 40 40 minutes any day whatever exams comes no matter how the exam is you'll be able to pass it so as a fresher Please try to have a reading time for yourself. If not, you are going to regret it. Because coming as a fresher, it's always good for you to make sure you clear all your papers in year one. Always good for you to make sure that you do not have any carryover. If you have carryovers and you take it to your second year, it's going to be hectic. Because second year has a lot of workload compared to your first year. And if you are taking another extra load, which is the carryover year, how are you going to survive? You won't be able to make it. So please, as a fresher, take your GSS, especially GSS, take it seriously. Get cool books like New Testament. That was what I used. I used New Testament then in my year one and it was really good. It helped me. I made all my papers or you can put yourself in tutorials like tpt tutorials yeah that tutorial is really good you can even check them online they have that turning point academy tpt academy they have things concerning positia meetings concerning you want students online in their platform and it's really good so make sure you have a study time for yourself as a fresher make sure if maybe you don't understand much things you are receiving from your lecture make sure you engage yourself in tutorials because why you actually came to school not just for fun or for taking pictures but for you to do good for you to have good grades and for you to get your bsc your degree number four on my list is religion as a fresher please i beg you don't come to school and start forming big boy or big girl try your possible best to you know get into church if you are a christian yes show the world that you're a christian if you are muslim yes show the world that you're a muslim because you need god in everything in whatever you do either in your school either in your academic my dear you need god to be able to pass put yourself in cool things like society it's so surprising that most times when we like in my religion if we go around asking people okay why don't you go to church on sunday or why are you not in any society in school i'm talking about christian society now yes they'll be like i'm not in that kind of society because i do not have time i have to read i'm a medical student i have to read no you have to try to align yourself with your religion pray to god because god is the only one that can actually help you in whatever you are doing the gatherings that you find yourself in now you'll be able to share your problem with them and what do they say a problem shared is a problem 
problem solved so get those kind of people are going to be like your family in school because you know you've left your family your families are over like kilometers far away from you so if you get yourself in church having a kind of society putting yourself in a kind of religious gathering whatever problem you have you'll be able to share with them and they will be like your second parents they'll be like your second family yeah when you get over to school you are free you can either choose to join either the good group or the bad group but you know now if you Take yourself and you know join the bad group you know what's going to come you know what happens to people who decide to join bad groups like courses or maybe decide to become runs girls in school you know what how it always ends it doesn't end good yeah then my fifth fact you need to know as a fresher is engagement in other activities please you came to school school is not only for reading school is not only for passing your exams that's why you discover that school actually creates things like students week they could give us a whole week students week for you to engage in fun activities like rag day yeah that's why in school it's not just only books but it also entails other cool fun things that you can do try to engage yourself in cool things like in debate club like just engage yourself in other cool fun things not only read 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 go for night class you read 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 no if you do like that it's going to be very boring associate yourself with things you can even like you can even try to get extra funds in school maybe if you feel that the funds that they send to you they are not enough you can get into things engage yourself like maybe plating hairstylists people do that barbing makeup in the hostel there are a lot of makeup actors there and a school nails any cool thing educational any cool fun thing that could give you fun either is educational or something that could give you fun too engage yourself and to conclude this video i would like to use this opportunity to call on our nigerian government and the minister of education please 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 you guys should come and look into our school our educational system of oh, grading facilities like in unical facilities like our hostel the condition of the hostel it's uh, it's really not so good especially that toilet issue sometimes our toilets might be really bad or really spoiled and uh, my dear it's going to take months before they manage to fix it a little it used to be very critical that most of the times we do what they call short put. Understand? Short put. It's horrible. <laughs> and even when you talk about things like lectures, in whenever we are having our general papers, God, it used to be hell. Everywhere will be crowded. We'll not be able to hear what the lecturer is saying because we do not have what public address system this ordinary microphone that somebody can use to talk so that everybody in the world can at least hear your voice even if not everybody will be able to see you but at least for people to hear your voice you do not have it you see the lecturers will come out they'll be shouting they'll be trying to scream for those at the back to hear but their natural voice cannot go cut across to everybody in that hall now it's not possible so please we call on them i call on them rather to come and help us upgrade our facilities and we know that they've been trying they've been doing like we now have a new hall like hotel but please they should come and help. and also an advice to all those freshers across even if you, maybe you feel like you haven't learned anything throughout this video yeah yeah an advice no matter the difficulty you might be passing through maybe financial difficulty or maybe how tough that particular course of field is you guys should just keep on moving keep going keep reading be consistent in reading and also be prayerful you see that at the end of everything you're going to be successful your four years five years six years course that you are going for you're going to do it you're going to finish it you're going to be successful you're going to be happy you get it so that's just the advice no matter how it is no matter how tough it is the strike and everything that is just really depressing keep pushing keep pressing and you are going to do great So this is it now for my video on the five facts or five important things a fresher needs to know. I hope you liked it. Please, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to see more of my videos. And I am going to see you guys on Friday with 43 Lines, my story, the victim. Please make sure you stay tuned to watch the video. Like, comment. I remain my humble self, the boss. See you guys on Friday. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.